Philip neighborhood and all its madness is so beautiful. And because it's like you see the resilience. If you walk out there, you see kids running, you see people smiling, you see hope still within everything. And it's so diverse. It's like a melting pot. Through all that is beauty. It's really somewhere that's kind of imperfect, but it builds great people. Community really drives me, and it's not just the youth that I work with, it's any youth around, because it's like I always like to tell them, in a few years, you're gonna be adults, and you're gonna make these decisions, you're gonna vote, you're gonna be, you know, contribute to society. I hope you're greater than I am. And that's like the dream, you know? So I just like to see people succeed. Buju, Wendigo, and Dishnikaz, my Ngin and Dodem. My name is Jayan Hart, and I'm from the Wolf Clan. But my given name at birth is Sir Curtis Kirby III. The Indigenous People's Task Force is a place of uh, many different things. We have gardening program, we have a outreach program, we have youth programs, and a part of the Indigenous People's Task Force is the Kiddo and Acting Ensemble, and I am the director of that. Raise your hand if you've done vocal warm-ups. All right? Yeah, a little bit, you guys have, right? This is meant to teach you how to get your breath from your stomach, and then also to loosen up your vocal cords, okay? We are the Kidwin Youth Acting Ensemble, and it's a group of 12 to 17 year olds. What is unique about us is we do public health, and then also we do the theater. I want you guys just to start walking in a circle. So just pick a direction and start walking. But together, walking together. Pull your shoulders up towards your neck, pull them up, hold them there. So it started about seven years ago when I was working at White Bear Lake School District and they asked me to come and fill in for the summer. I seen that I could really make a difference in the community that I grew up in and really give back in that way. And you know, with theater, you touch people, you know what I mean? It's really heartfelt and there's a lot of emotion in that room, you know, that happens. And especially with all the work that we do because it's theater about our community, you know, about how we grew up, issues that we deal with, you know, political views that we have. Then we'll do a skit on it. And then throughout those things, oh, pieces are developed. What is something that we could change in our community? What's something that needs to be changed in our community. And I asked all you to think about it. And so, yeah, we'll open up with you and I'll let you pass it which way you ever want. Okay, so a big problem in our community is um, homelessness. I, I, it's just really sad. Like, I walk outside or on the TV, I see Tent City, and there's so many people there. I think a big problem in our community is Native American youth dropping out of school and falling into the stereotype. I think a big problem in our community is people not being able to defend themselves, like, well, against uh, what other people say and, like, what they do. So people not being able to use their voice. Okay. Before, my background was in coaching. I played football my whole life, you know, from third grade all the way through college. So I knew how to gather people. I knew how to, like, you know, um, uniform team, but I didn't really know much about theater. I kind of had to, like, step up and, like, start directing some of these pieces if I wanted to push us forward. Well, one group is going to be A and someone's going to be the talker, okay? You're going to use one minute to tell the most important story to you that you've ever had. The other person is not going to listen. Well, we're allowing our youth to tell their stories, you know what I mean? So we have a lot of writing sessions. All the kids wrote everything in there, you know what I mean? The poems, to the dialogues, to the monologues, everything. And so that was why it was unique, because um, we had never done anything like that. I think anything we talk about is gonna resonate with people. You know, they're gonna they're gonna feel that effect because it's live, you know? So I think that's like the greatest part about just doing that theater and having them reach people and you know um, start gathering thoughts because it's so much more than theater. And action. Um, here's my brochure. Please don't forget to take the picture. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? In our community, we have a really low graduation rate. And so some of these skills like public speaking and you know talking in front of people and you know just making yourself kind of vulnerable was new to us. And I can tell you like a lot of these youth, if you see them that have been through this program, they're you know they're graduating through the strength of this program. I know that's what makes it happen. It was like if there's more people that just cared. And so I think what we give them is a place to be safe, a place to just come and be yourself, you know, to express yourself and grow.